Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And there's a stone that's been found, this little pebble. And scientists are saying it's not from Earth, and it's not from out in the solar system. This is your Mad Science Update for today. Um, first thing I want to know is how they know it's not found out in the solar system. Are they meaning to having explored every asteroid and planet that's out there? I mean, really. Analysis of a small pebble found on southwest Egypt can significant, cast significant questions on widely held view about the pre primitive pre solar dust cloud which our sun, earth, and other planets were formed from. Well, that's imagination until you can actually show me that it happens. Uh, researchers found exotic micromineral compounds in the Hypatia stone that are not known to occur on Earth, elsewhere in our solar system, or in known meteorites or comets. That's a pretty remarkable statement, as much as, like I said, are we flying around the solar system cataloging everything? We're told not. We're not, but, uh, you know, what are they saying here? Anyway, researchers Jane Kramers and Georgie Belian, Belianen found mineral compounds unlike anything on Earth or in no meteors or comets, and these fragments from the Hypatia stone, which was picked up in southwest Egypt in the Libyan desert glass field. Living Desert Glass Field, huh? Hmm. Now, where do you think that could have come from? In 2013, researchers announced that Pavel found in southwest Egypt was definitely not from Earth. By 2015, other researcher research teams had announced that the Hypatia stone was not part of any known types of meteorite or comet based on mobile gas, and nuclear probe analyses. Stone was named Hypatia after Hypatia of a Alexandria, the first Western woman mathematician and astronomer. Really? Uh, uh, strike two. That's uh, the Middle East. They're not Western. That's strike two. However, if the pebble is not from Earth, what well, was its origin? Could the minerals in it provide clues on where it come from? Came from micro mineral analysis of the pebble by the original research team at the universe, University of Johannesburg have now provided unsettling answers that spiral away from conventional views on the material our solar system was formed from. They're afraid their uh, little fantasy is going to burst. Internal structure of the high panty is thrown somewhat like a fruitcake that has fallen off a shelf into some flour and cracked on impact, says Professor Jane Kramers, lead researcher of the study published in Geo Chemico, forget it, on 8 December, 28 December 2017. We can think of that badly mixed dough and a fruit, fruit cake. Okay, enough is enough. Now they're talking about fruit cakes. They've gone from an extraterrestrial rock, a rock that they claim is extraterrestrial, and now they're talking about fruit plate, fruit cakes. Uh, that's enough. That's, I don't need any more than that. It's definitely a mad science update. They don't know. They don't know when, he, when the solar system was created like it was in Genesis or some other way. They don't know. Sheesh. 
I'm artifacts of Mars. I don't know either, so <laughs> I'm an agnostic. I'm just amazed at how badly these so-called scientists can strike things up, you know, screw things up like this. It's like a fruitcake might, you know what, I'm artifacts of Mars. <laughs>